And without further ado, let's go ahead and start off the this segment with the you know the biggest Woj bombs quotes you know air quotes it's not like an actual you know but it's just the thing that the internet has dubbed it because every single time that there is news regarding um basketball Woj it would be the guy that most NBA fans would trust and believe in the sources and with him gone obviously you know it's a little bit weird not having him in the news industry and the reporting industry because we usually get all of our news from him and when he doesn't reveal any when he's not the one revealing the news then it's like it's a little bit difficult to trust the sources at least most people don't want to trust the sources so this is just in honor of his memory and his time with ESPN and we're going to go in alphabetical order with the Eastern Conference so we're going to start with Atlanta once again and the biggest um, tweet coming in from Woj about Atlanta was this one. The Atlanta Hawks are trading Danilo Gallinari and multiple first-round picks to the San Antonio Spurs for all-star guard DeJounte Murray, sources tell ESPN. Once the news broke about this, everybody immediately thought that the Atlanta Hawks were going to be a winning franchise once again because now Trey Young would finally have the co-star that he needed in DeJounte Murray. Turns out it wasn't exactly, that wasn't exactly what panned out, and the experiment ended up being a failure as the Hawks ended up trading away DeJounte Murray to the Pelicans in the future. So, a little bit unfortunate coming in for the Hawks, how this trade didn't really work, but for the moment, and at the time, it was seen as a very, very solid trade, and a lot of people were expecting great things from this team. Unfortunately, they ended up being one of the mid-tier teams, and they're still one of the mid-tier teams in the entire Eastern Conference, and the entire league as a whole. So, not really much to talk about with this one, but this next this next Woj bomb, I'm going to just air quote Woj bomb every time. This next Woj bomb is actually crippled a lot of people uh, crippled my franchise and that is of course the tweet that came in tw in 2013 Kevin Garnett will agree to a trade to Brooklyn and Celtics are sending Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce to the Nets league sources tell why sports so obviously this trade is incredibly infamous not just because the Nets were trading for past their prime players but because the players and the picks that they ended up giving up in this trade turned out to be Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So not only did this cripple the Brooklyn Nets for the time, but it also crippled the Brooklyn Nets for the future. This was a horrible trade coming in from Brooklyn. It ended up being a fantastic trade on the Boston Celtics side because they were able to maintain Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce for when they needed them to, to win the championship and make it to the finals. And then they were able to get rid of them and completely replace them with two Jalens and wreak havoc on the league and win in 2024. Like, that, it couldn't have worked any better for the Boston Celtics. I'm sure TJ is watching this smiling and just smirking so hard right now because he was set for life after this trade. And... This really crippled the Brooklyn Nets and the franchise. And speaking of a move that crippled the Brooklyn Nets, here's the next Wolves bomb that came in, but this time it's for the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn is making a clean sweep tonight. Brooklyn will sign Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and DeAndre Jordan, league sources tell ESPN. This blew up the internet because everybody thought that Kevin Durant and Kyrie were going to join the Knicks. During the regular season, Kyrie was, it was um, in a recording, in a video, Kyrie was caught saying they have two max slots, it's time. So he was already, there was already a hint that Kyrie and Kevin Durant were going to team up, but they just didn't know exactly where. They ended up choosing Brooklyn, and that made Brooklyn a title contender for the very few short years that they've played. Unfortunately, Kyrie Irving just wants to be Kyrie Irving and just post stuff online that offends people and not only that do certain things like regarding the COVID vaccine that many people just couldn't understand people were confused on why he would not take the vaccine 
and why he just it seemed like Kyrie didn't really want to play. This ultimately led to the duo falling out, even though they were on the biggest win streak in the franchise's history, randomly. Like, Kyrie randomly just decided to request a trade, got him sent to the Dallas Mavericks, and then, as a result, Kevin Durant was like, I'm not going to be on this team alone, I want to join a super team, and then gets traded over to the Phoenix Suns. So this team was supposed to be a championship winning team. It was supposed to be a legendary team. They were the ISO gang. That was the nickname that a lot of people gave them because they ran a lot of isolation ball. They were supposed to be a championship winning team, but they were one of the biggest failed experiments in the entire history of the NBA. And it really, really, really stings to talk about it again. Now, the next big Woj tweet that ended up coming out, the biggest Woj bomb, was Michael Jordan is selling his majority stake in the Charlotte Hornets to Gabe Plotkin slash Rick Schnell group for an approximate $3 billion valuation, league sources tell ESPN. So this happened, <clears throat> this actually happened like um, not too long ago, this happened quite recently, and compared to the previous news that you guys, well, compared to the previous tweets that I pulled up. So this is like, I'm not entirely sure like of everything regarding that detail, but I do know that this, like, this was definitely like the biggest tweet that Charlotte has had in recent memory, because I'm sorry to say, but it's like, no one really ends up signing with Charlotte. No one really does much with Charlotte. As sad as it is for Charlotte fans, that's just the way it is. And the next big woes tweet that we have is for the Chicago Bulls and the, this tweet came in I believe in the year 2021 at around October I want to say and or around August excuse me no it was it was around August yeah the Bulls are finalizing a sign and trade deal to acquire the Spurs DeMar DeRozan sources tell ESPN Again, this was also seen as a very good move coming in from Chicago before tragedy struck because everybody thought that DeMar and Zach Levine were going to be a pretty solid duo. And maybe that with the acquisition of Vucevic later on, that they would be a solid team in the Eastern Conference. Of course, that doesn't happen. And similar to Atlanta, they become one of those teams that had a failed experiment and ended up being in the mid-tier of Eastern Conference teams. And... It makes total sense as to why they just um, it didn't really it didn't really pan out, unfortunately, for the Bulls. So with that, um, I'm going to stop the segment right here and go into a short break. And I'm going to continue on with this segment with the rest of the Eastern Conference teams. And I'll see if I can finish it in the second segment. So I might speed through a lot of it right after the short break. So be sure to stay tuned if you guys are still interested. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Everybody in the world blind Please Lord give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Everybody in the world blind Please Lord give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the fake shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my sound. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose, if it's a moose and shit, a stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh. Feel like I'm losing my mind. Everybody in the world blind. Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Everybody in the 